The winner of 2014 is the third worst winter that has ever been recorded. Statewide, PennDOT has laid down over 125,000 tons of rock salt on our Pennsylvania highways. And they still have plenty more to spare. The Rudmans will be here in Annenberg Atrium for a reception that will honor everything they have done for the School of Media and Communication. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Karina Chung. From a quick glance, this may look like an emergency situation, but it is staged to prepare students, medics, and police on how to respond to an active shooter. One simulation can teach everyone involved how to react for the public safety. In Northeast Philadelphia, Karina Chung, Fox News. He will review their findings and report to the Board of Trustees and the university community. Reporting live on Leah Chorus Walk for Temple Update, I'm Karina Chung. And when I sat down with Margaret Carney, she said to remember that the master plan is just a draft and is subject to change. If you have an idea on what campus should look like in the next few years, log on to visualizetemple.com. Reporting live at the Bell Teller for Temple Update, I'm Karina Chung. I didn't know if they were mosquito bites. I didn't know what they were, but something was extremely itchy on the back of my leg. Amanda White is one of hundreds of students who have complained about the mysterious rash. Many believe they got the rash from wooden benches on the southbound side of the Cecil B. Moore subway stop. And it's just from sitting on the benches down by the subway and people get up and immediately have what they think look like bug bites on them. SEPTA responded after it received multiple complaints about the issue, but spokesperson Jerry Williams says SEPTA found nothing to link the benches to the rash. We went to the bench in question, looked to see if there was any type of infestation or anything like that. We didn't see anything, but we did power wash it and we did treat it. Student Health Services says that this is a case of contact dermatitis, which has similar symptoms to poison ivy. Senior Administrator Mark Denise says it's hard to pinpoint the source of the rash. Uh, but we really just, we don't know at mm -hmm. this point. Um, there's very inconsistent presentations and inconsistent histories. You know, it's not as though every single person with it has sat in this same exact place. SEPTA has replaced their wooden bench with a metal bench, which is a surface where bugs and bacteria cannot survive. I'm happy that SEPTA definitely has made some changes and maybe we can get down to the bottom of this. And SEPTA says although it doesn't think it was part of the problem, they're happy to be part of a solution. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Karina Chung. All the members of the band met at Temple University and have been together ever since. Saxophonist Chris Oates said Chelsea brought everyone together. We got together and just tried to learn some arrangements of some old standards from the 20s and 30s. Chelsea and all the guys have a love for jazz music. And all of the jazz singers that came before me definitely inspire me every day. And also, um, honestly, the city of Philadelphia is pretty inspiring to me. <laughs> the great trumpet players of the past, um, specifically Louis Armstrong, uh, Henry Red Nichols, uh, Harry Sweets Edison, I mean the list goes on. Band and Bell Tower Records teamed up last year to produce the album. It only took two days to record it. Chelsea and the guys enjoyed working on the record with other Temple music lovers. It's wonderful, like these are all people that are our age who are passionate about the music industry and music just like we are. What's next for Chelsea Reed and the Fairweather Five? We have a lot of gigs booked, we have some big festivals coming up in the spring and we have, we have a bunch of gigs in the Philadelphia area. And uh, we're hoping to get some new arrangements together and work on some, some new material. More of this, we keep playing for swing dances and for listening rooms in Philadelphia, and we're having a blast. The band is planning on starting work on a second record in the fall of 2016. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Karina Chung. Twitter announced on their developer blog that direct messages, a private conversation between users, would no longer be bound by the 140 characters that tweets are limited to. CNET Associate Editor Sarah Mitroff. Twitter, I think, has been looking for a way to bolster its efforts on private messaging because it wants to stay that one-stop shop. Twitter is known for sharing pictures, videos, links, quick thoughts, and much more. It's always been this place that's kind of constantly evolving as we share new kinds of media. One thing it didn't do was allow users to have long conversations. It gives you more freedom as the user to use that platform to communicate with your friends. The changes are expected to be made in July. Karina Chung, KYW News Radio. Bobby Heenan, who is unopposed for re-election to city council, is behind the hashtag I Vote Philly project. It's a social media contest where participants explain on video, in 15 seconds or less, why they are voting. Here's an opportunity to get them uh, a part of the process, to have them feel like they have a stake in 
you know, some uh, pretty crucial decisions. Heenan says he's trying to find a way to make voting fun. We can make things uh, worthwhile to coming out to vote. Uh, so this is tried to encouraging people to come out to vote and at the same time having them understand that these elections do count. To participate, upload your video to Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook with the hashtag IVotePhilly for a chance to win the prizes. They include a meal prepared by Iron Chef Jose Garces, a drive to the polls by Mayor Nutter, tickets to sporting events, and much more. Karina Chung, KYW News Radio.